Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Tuesday afternoon. Shenandoah officials are hoping to unload another vacant city property tonight. Meeting at 6 p.m. at City Hall, the Shenandoah City Council holds a public hearing on the proposed sale of the city's former water plant at 204 Grass Street to Austin and Kayla Terry. Now, the structure has remained vacant since the new water plant went online in 2017. Speaking at the previous council meeting, Austin Terry says the plan entails renovating a part of the structure into a rentable living space or an Airbnb, for example. Montgomery County officials are once again using COVID relief dollars to address some major needs. By unanimous vote this morning, the county's Board of Supervisors approved the use of American Rescue Plan Act funds for projects and purchases for the county's Conservation Department, including $31,000 for renovation of the Wolf Nature Center located in the Anderson Conservation Area. Other approved conservation-related expenditures, including a new Spark Board for education programs totaling $3,400, and a new side-by-side -side vehicle for more than $15,000. Other opera funds will cover renovations to the county's courthouse, including $200,000 for tuck pointing. Shenandoah school officials hope the district's resource officer reserves many roles, most notably as a deterrent against violence. By unanimous vote Monday afternoon, the Shenandoah School Board approved a 28E agreement with the city for the SRO position. Shenandoah City Council members ratified the agreement late last month. We spoke to Shenandoah School Superintendent Dr. Kerry Nelson about the agreement on KMA's Morning Line program this morning. And Red Oak officials considering the best way to fund public infrastructure for a potential townhouse development. Recently, the Red Oak City Council met with Chip Schultz of Northland Public Finance to discuss the two primary ways that the necessary public infrastructure, including dirt work, street, and utility improvements for the potential Studio One townhouse project on the north end of town. KMA on track weather, partly sunny this afternoon, 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms late, highs in the upper 70s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight, with a low of around 60. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a good rest of your Tuesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.